And Peepers writes, I'm truly hoping this giving up food thing just happens naturally. And uh, yeah, it really does. It really does. If you uh, if you raise your vibration, it just is less and less. It just it doesn't look good anymore. It doesn't taste good anymore, especially food that's not good food. It, it doesn't look good. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't taste good. And if there's no food around you that looks or smells or tastes good, it's it's really easy just to skip it. It really is. Uh, it's very easy for me. Um, and then if you think about it, uh, between getting money to buy the food um, or spending a great deal of time raising and putting up the food, um, raising this stuff to feed the animals, collecting the animals, butchering the animals, collecting the plants, preparing the plants, uh, putting it in your kitchen, grocery shopping, preparing the food, um, then eating the food, then cleaning up after preparing the food, then cleaning up after the mess that your body makes as it as it sends out the waste products of the food, plus all of the energy it takes for your body to take that food and break it down into the true energy that it really needs. I would say over 50% of a human's life is based on food. So for me personally, uh, that's an awful lot of time that I can do something else with. Uh, that I really just don't want to be bothered. That that there are just things that I enjoy more than doing all of that list for just food. Uh, there's just, you know, I enjoy food and I, I will, I love food cooking food with other people. I like really good food, but it's not worth 50% of my time. It certainly is not that for me. So from what I've experienced, um, if you state the intention and if, if you just want it to just gradually go away, then just don't fight it. It will. It will just gradually, it'll be less and less and less. And I go days without eating now and I don't struggle against it. I eat when I want to. I eat only things that that I really that vibrate and match me, and um, yeah, and I don't have any struggle with it at all. I'm not hungry. Uh, it's just that all of that stuff, and being a mother for a very very long time that's a long time of my life has been around uh, food and preparing food and all the stuff that goes with it. So uh, not only is it significantly less expensive, but I have a great deal of more time that I can do things that I really would rather be doing. Does that make sense? So just um, if you're heading that direction, just state that you understand that it's going in that direction and just allow it. But don't push yourself to keep to the beliefs that you've had all your whole life. You can't say, okay, I, I, I'm ready to give this up in 5D where we don't need food anymore. And this insisting on your head going, well, I've got to eat three meals a day and I've got to cover the five food groups and I've got to have this many calories and I have to go work out to use up that many calories, yada, yada, yada. And that's a whole bunch more time and energy for those of us that have weight issues. That's taken up a whole bunch more of my time over the years. So it's just, there are just things that I would rather be doing than anything around food. It just is not, uh, not worth it. The advantages are not worth all of the time and energy that it takes to get there. But for those of you that it is important, just uh, relax into it. Don't worry about it too terribly much because it will gradually go away. And you seriously, as you raise vibrations, the food that is not high vibratorily, you will not, you will not look at it like food. It won't smell like food. It won't look like food. You won't want it as food because you won't look at it like food. Uh, it'll really be disgusting to you. Okay. Hopefully that answers that. Alrighty then, huge hugs. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.